Todd Vincent here, The Fermented Farmer, here at our homestead farm in Middle Tennessee, today to talk to you about the unusual winter we had in Tennessee this year. colder than normal, and we got a lot of precipitation in the form of snow, which we don't usually get. That snow, even though it did cause some damage here on some of our greenhouses, and it's kind of a pain to be out in or to drive in, does have some benefits. Snow, when hitting the ground and coming through the air, helps draw nitrogen into the soil, which is a good thing. And so I'm noticing already this year, and I wanted to show you, how green everything is much earlier than normal and how thick things are, plus the variety of things that's coming up. It's really interesting. So we've got a lot of white clovers showing up that was never planted here. So this is just natural seed that's in the soil that have come up. A lot of other early grasses coming out. But one thing in particular I wanted to show you is when the ground freezes, there's a heave to it, which we don't get a lot here in Tennessee. So this is a perfect example. I haven't touched this spot yet, but I'm gonna reach into this and show you just with my bare hands how this pasture soil has gone through the winter heave and is now really ready to grow a lot of great things and very nutritiously as well. So just like I can go in with my thumb and fingers and just, that's not normal here in Tennessee. Those of you that are from Tennessee, it's usually like a solid rock when you're pounding into it with rocks coming out of it as well. But this is just, I'm able just to pull clumps of this out and it's real airy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very airy. You can see all the roots, it's not bound together. All of this is a great sign for this year's growing season. So as we're planting different things for the animals to graze, as we're planting trees, I'm excited what all this is gonna do. So remember, we're here to change your diet, to change your life and to change your world. And we're doing it with regenerative farming here in Middle Tennessee.